morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the 2 megapixel selfie drone. It really doesn't have a name. It says portable search drone, um, and it's listed as just 2 megapixel selfie drone. But what's so special about it? Well, it is a quadcopter that flies via Wi-Fi, as you can tell. There is no controller. Because there's no controller, this is actually relatively cheap. But it does have a 2 megapixel HD FPV camera. It provides FPV video. The camera can be tilted up or down. I'm going to tilt it slightly downward because I'm going to put the quadcopter up at a little bit while I'm flying it and look down at myself. <laughs> but as you can tell here, it is another one of these drones that are trying to be a uh, clone of the Dobby, another Dobby style, style clone. Foldable drone, you know, very easily portable. Um, you can put it in your pocket, take it with you, and just, you know, bring out your phone, bring out the, the, this little Dobby clone. And when you're out and about, you can get yourself some selfie video. That it's, its main purpose is selfie video. Its arms unfold and, and extend like so. Um, it has a 500 milliamp hour battery, unusually shaped 500 milliamp hour battery, I must say, with a white low C connector. Now, um, it's on off switches on top here. Again, it's 2 megapixel HD video. It has lights in the front and the back. And it uses an app which is called. I believe it's called JYD app. Hold on, folks. Let me turn this on. FY, FYD FPV app. Okay, available on Google Play and iTunes. But there's something special about this app. Before I connect it, I'm going to open up the app because I just want to show you something real special about this. Is that, okay, this is Mobazin. This is the app. First, you want to make sure fixed height mode is on in the upper left corner make sure you switch to English to the left if it's switched to the right it's in Chinese okay so switch that to the left to make sure that you are in English mode and uh, under settings you okay there's nothing special in settings I, I remember what I want to show you go in here and the main portion hit uh, play and in the upper right corner click that uh, rectangle bunch of rectangles and make sure it says VGA you want to be in VGA or have this in VGA. Uh, I don't know why that closed. Hold on. Otherwise, it, for some reason, when it says VGA here, it records in 720p. If you select, click that button, select 720p, and it's not working right now, it'll switch to uh, VGA resolution. I know it's reverse of what you think was is would should work, but that's the way this app is set up. So I just want to show you that. So let's fire this up, connect it to the app, and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I am connected to the uh, FPV, or to the Wi-Fi signal from the drone. I'm hitting play. And hitting that upper right-hand corner there. That upper right-hand corner. And we're notice it says 720p. We don't want that. You need to click that 720p and switch it to VGA. Make sure it says, says VGA there. <coughs> I know it's kind of intuitive. But if it says VGA, it is recording 720p. If it says 720p, it's recording v VGA. It's exactly opposite of what you'd expect. So that, that is, it is kind of strange. Now, we're going to select altitude hold uh, by clicking that button there. We should be in altitude hold mode. And I want to select recording video. Video is now recording. And we're going to hit take off. Wait, what mode are we in? I want to be in gyro. No. Yeah, I'm going to control it with the sticks. I don't want to, but I do want to be in headless mode, which is not that button, but that button there. Okay, we are in headless mode, and it does have an annoying beep when it's in headless mode, but let's do the takeoff in the upper, or lower left corner button is takeoff, and pushing forward, and going up a bit higher, and turning it toward me, and I am showing up. Now I'm recording in headless mode. Headless mode is the easiest way to fly these selfie drones. Um, you can use the stick, but if you leave it in headless mode, it makes it relatively easy to fly these things. And you can do follow me, like I'm doing right now, and use it as a selfie drone. That is their main purpose, to be flown as selfie drones. Let's bring it in a little closer and lower, so you can see it. There it is up there, <laughs> flying overhead. Relatively easy to fly when in headless mode. Um, let's take a picture too. Going out a little bit there and pressing the picture button. One more. 
<laughs> Coming closer, or bringing it closer. Getting in the picture. And <laughs> okay, that's enough pictures. Okay, I'm gonna send it out a bit, and let's try, see how well it works as a follow me drone. Actually, I haven't gotten a, a video of the area yet. Let's set it up higher, get a video of the area. And then rotating. There's the area. And keeping in mind that I put pointed its camera downward, so that's not gonna work very well. Let's land it, and I'll point its camera upward, bringing it down lower. Going right into the sun, bringing it closer, and hitting the land button. Okay, and turning off that camera, and turning off the headless mode beeping. Okay, what I want to do now, we're going to fly it normal, and I'm going to raise up its lens. That way we can see the area, okay? And again, we're gonna fly it normally now using the sticks control. So starting the camera back up again and making sure my mob is in is recording. <laughs> that would be bad. Making sure my hat camera is recording too. It's been a while. Hat camera is recording, centering it. And let's do a hand takeoff with these. These are fun to do hand takeoffs. <laughs> so hand takeoff, wait a minute. I always hit that darn button. That messes everything up. Okay, recording. Mabazin is recording. And what I want to do is hit the takeoff button, which is right there. And there we go. Now that I got its camera pointed up higher, let's take it up high. Trying to go up higher. Raising it up. Uh, doesn't want to go any higher for some reason. Let's go up higher. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to go up higher, folks. But that's about all we're going to get is that altitude right there. So let's fly it around a bit, see how it flies with the sticks. Pushing forward, bringing it toward me. So it has some kind of uh, altitude uh, block. You can't go much higher than that. <laughs> it doesn't let you climb. So I think that's a safety measure. So let's land it now since we can't go up high. Pressing the land button. Landing, let's see if I can get it in my hand again. So it has a safety uh, altitude, it looks like about 10 meters, it won't go any higher than 10 meters and I guess that is to prevent uh, loss of the quadcopter. Okay finally, let's try voice commands. Okay finally, let's try voice commands to fly this thing. Uh, hitting the voice command and take off, take off, take off, landing, right left, up, down, take off. I never have any luck with these voice commands, folks. I'm sorry. I've tried them and tried them again and they never seem to work. So we're going to skip the voice commands. This time, let's try, uh, let's get it in the air first. I'm going to try the uh, waypoint vo uh, version of this. So hitting start, taking off, going up a little higher, and selecting the waypoint mode. The draw mode. Drawing forward. Oops, I think that's it, folks. Ain't no more power. So that's the flight time you get out of it. So, all in all, you know, it, it's a reasonable selfie quadcopter, inexpensive. Uh, it can record in 720p. Um, it has seems to have an altitude uh, uh, limit to prevent it from flying any higher than 10 meters. 
Uh, flight time was relatively short, though. I'll, have, I'll give you that, even though it has a 500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the voice control did not seem to work, but that's just a gimmick feature anyways. Along with the, uh, I tried the waypoint mode, and that's another gimmick feature, folks, that you see on, on these. So, you know, the main point being is you want to be able to uh, get uh, FPV video, um, record that FPV vi video in 720p, and use it as a selfie quadcopter. And that's, this seems to work right, reasonably well as a selfie quadcopter, inexpensive selfie quadcopter. So I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out with a 2 megapixel selfie drone. Creation of the simulator program available with this app. To activate it, look in the lower right corner and see the joystick or joypad there. Just press that button, the gamepad, and it opens up the simulator program. And this is a great way to practice uh, flying without even flying the drone yet. If, if you're a new flyer, you can practice the controls. Now, one thing about this, though, um, it does not have altitude hold, okay? So you're going to be flying uh, strictly uh, manually, which is a plus in my book, you know. <laughs> altitude hold can learn can become a crutch with many flyers. But uh, this one here is flown manually, and to actually take off, you just move the left throttle stick up until the quadcopter leaves the ground, level off, and then push forward with the right stick, and away you go. And turn, we'll turn the left stick to the left, give it a little yaw, along with a little bit of roll. And I'm climbing a bit, so I'm coming down a bit. And let's push forward and go out. And another thing you can practice, of course, with this is orientation techniques. Maintaining orientation on the quadcopter by its movement alone. Let's stop it right about there. And then we're going to just rotate the quadcopter so we don't know what its orientation is. And to find its orientation, all we do is center the stick and then push forward on the right stick to give it some forward movement. And we notice it moving to the right, so to bring it back to us, all we need to do is turn to the right with yaw. Apply yaw until the movement stops and center the stick, and it should be coming right back toward us. And we see that it does. It's moving a little bit to the left, so turn it a little bit to the left, and it'll correct it and bring it right back toward us. So that's an important technique to practice with this for new flyers, how to maintain orientation on a quadcopter just by its movement. Let's go off in the distance again, again, rotate again, so we don't know which way is front or back. And uh, rotating, rotating, rotating. And this time we'll center the stick, pushing forward on the right stick, and we notice the quadcopter is moving to the left, so all we gotta do to bring it back toward us is turn to the left until the movement stops and then stop the turning, and it comes right back toward us. That's another thing that you can practice with this. Again, neat little simulator program included with the app. And this app is free, so you can download it right now and start practicing right now. Okay, Quadcopter 101, signing out.